All right, click the links to join the channel here over at Subscribestar. So, uh, X uh, Marvel Studios plans for a reboot, and it's going to focus on the female characters. And you, you can just stop right there. You don't need to read any further because that tells you what it tells you. Um, put a chick in it and make it lame. So, uh, superhero movies are over anyway. They decided to go out in as lame a manner as possible by putting chicks and everything and making it diverse and lame and the whole girl power stuff that nobody's on board with and the movies repeatedly keep losing money and, and yet it doesn't stop them and superhero movies as a genre is finally over it had a fun run i would say i mean it's been going on since the 70s but you could say the current resurgence was the uh, the first iron man movie that was a lot of fun and there was a lot of potential in that with um robert downey jr he had a little redemption arc and that um that chick uh who was a sidekick i forget her name um the red-haired chick with the the candles gross um it was fun it was fun and the movies you know they're, they weren't shakespeare but they they do what they're supposed to do um, so the thing is, uh, the ending of these movies has kind of happened so suddenly that I, I think it might have come as a surprise to Hollywood because they're seeing this string of movies across you know DC and, and Marvel that are just repeatedly losing money. So they're probably wondering what they do next because they own these properties and with, with Disney they have the, like with Star Wars is in the same boat and they own that 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 thing too the thing is the uh the comic mo movies were just mediocre to start with and it, it feels like people have, have kind of forgotten that they, they, they think they were better than they were there were people who were talking about the ending of that that avengers movie as if it was an important movie and i, I look back and i'm like dude that's just that's just your memory your memory is way off if you think those movies mattered. And uh, I don't think people liked the movies so much. I think it was more that they recognized the characters for the, from the comics and just from being in the public. Um, and it was familiar enough for them that they could be part of a social media group that could argue over DC and Marvel. And they were caught up in the arguing, arguments of what actors were doing and whatnot. But then they never actually stopped to think about the movies and go, oh, yeah, these movies aren't really anything special. But, you know, to be fair, you look at all the other stuff that's coming out at that time. And was it 2008? I think that was when it kind of kicked off. There wasn't a whole lot that was really standing out. Though, didn't Scarlett Johansson do that one that one sci-fi movie? Uh, that was pretty good. What was it called? Well, she drinks that... that the nanotechnology liquid or something that turns into a super genius. I thought that was a lot of fun. The thing is, it's more of a parasocial relationship where in this present Weimar, people feel like they're connected to something. That's what I think where people were, were on board with more than the actual movies themselves. And now both Marvel and DC have had too many failures to recover from. Uh, because people now think of the genre as woke, and not just that, but they think of uh, those companies in general, Disney especially, as woke. Because they've had uh, they've had like Indiana Jones, and then the I forgot about Indiana Jones. There was a, a chick in there, and they made it lame. Uh, the streaming shows were kind of underperforming. They had like two good two hit streaming shows, and then the rest of them were kind of uh, not so much. But then um, it's just Hollywood in general is getting kind of just woke and boring and really predictable where where you can judge protagonist and antagonist just by uh, just by hair color and it's it's disney across the board it has a reputation now of woke because their animations are the same way it's like if every everyone is is blt vg whatever and and a furry and and all this kind of just marxist nonsense that nobody's on board with and all the kids all the kids are gay You've told people, you know, like 20 years ago, this would be the face of Disney. It would be stories about, you know, interracial relationships with gay kids. They look at you like, what are you talking about? That's that just seems so so over the top, heavy handed. It's like, well, that's that's what Disney is going to be on board with for the future. The thing is, um, Marvel and, and DC have had too many failures. They've got uh, uh, Madam Web with uh, Sydney Sweeney and a bunch of other chicks that nobody saw. The Marvel, which, you know, to, to its credit, it actually looked better than, than the Marvels with Brie Larson and those other two sidekick chicks. Um, Birds of Prey, uh, part, I guess that was, I don't know what that was. Birds of Prey was the offshoot of uh, uh, Suicide Squad. But then the actual part two of Suicide Squad was, I don't know if it was a bomb or if it just kind of softly lost money. Uh, Black Adam with The Rock, that lost money. Black Widow, Wonder Woman 1984. That was the, kind of the first film that was scheduled pre-Wu Flu and then came out in Wu Flu, but it 
they just were able to use that as an excuse. It doesn't matter because that movie was two and a half hours of absolute crap. And then Shang Chi, I think, actually broke even. Which you know, movies are supposed to make money, not just break even. And they're actually going to give that a sequel, which is friggin' bizarre. So all these movies, when you, they just kind of sat there, they did nothing for two hours. And if you, uh, you know, you're going sailing the high seas for these kind of things as well, you should, and you're seeing it for free. Some of them are worth watching for free because they have some interesting parts and you're familiar with the character and you like the comic books as a kid. And it's like, all right, for free, it might be worth uh, two hours to watch some of these things. But if you're talking about going to a theater and paying 17 to $20 for a ticket, none of them are worth like anything more than five bucks at a ticket none of them are worth anything even the what do you call the matinee price they're not do they're just not worth that and they've had too many bad movies now they've both dc and 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 marvel and and you know outside the superhero genre as well there's been a whole string of these underperforming and actually bombing movies most because they're they're just trying to be too woke and and the thing is movies are not in a vacuum there's this outside culture war that's going on i think that's what soured a lot of people on uh on movies so uh it's it's over and i think star wars is gonna find out that they're in the same boat because their next movie is starring uh daisy ridley who uh, people kind of vaguely liked i guess and they look at the star wars movies and they're like yeah they're okay I, i guess it's just you know we finished the trilogy that started or the the nine series thing that started in 77 it, it's over and and the movies i mean the movies i thought they sucked but some people people thought they were okay um but they're not looking to get back on board with disney or with uh, star wars or with daisy, daisy ridley at all so i think they're going to find out when that movie loses money or just breaks even um they're going to have to put star wars on the shelf for a while which is going to be a, a problem for them because they have the it's incorporated into their theme park and then they have to switch that over and it's like well that'll be you know, hundreds of millions of dollars to switch that thing over. Anyway, so the, the funny thing about X-Men was when the last one came out, like 10 years ago, I think, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it, it bombed. I tried to watch it. I tried to get through it. And I just I just couldn't get through a f- more than a few minutes of it. It was just so freaking lame. It had an advertising clip where the um, Jennifer Lawrence had a line where she was being all passive aggressive and kind of whiny and she was saying because the women do so much in in the crew that it should be called x women and it's just one of those things you go ah put a pin in it because it feels like it's it's done and uh truth be told calling something x women today has an entirely different meaning it's like was it only 10 years ago that that last x-men came out where the whole the whole blt thing was kicking off into gear but it was much much smaller where you know, suddenly people thought they were the opposite sex or something, and it's, uh, I'm sure that's gonna, you know, go away as well, but the, um, the new X, and, and, you know, Hollywood is, is like a year behind the curve, six months behind the curve, because of the lead time to make movies is a year, but they should have seen the writing on the wall several years ago, and, and Ghostbusters 2016 should have been a little piece of evidence for them, and then, um, Birds of Prey should have been a big piece of evidence for them, but apparently it 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 wasn't. So the new X Men is gonna and you know I will say that this chick, uh, Iman Vellani, she was the only good part about the Marvels because she was the only chick that had any personality. Personality. The other two two uh, sidekicks, the other two ladies were just kind of stoic, and just and Brie Larson just has that no expression on her face whatsoever. So um, the new X-Men, they said it's going to focus on chicks, which is a problem because chicks don't see these kind of movies unless their boyfriend drags them to it. That's how chicks see most of these kind of male movies. Yeah, am I saying chicks don't have agency? Not when it comes to movies. Women don't drag men to movies nearly as often. Every once in a while they can because they go, oh, you know, the last three movies we saw were these stupid male movies. You have to come see Barbie with us. So it's like, all right, well, that, that's, you know, one of the reasons Barbie did like a billion and a half dollars. So um, men don't see these kind of chick-led characters. And this this kind of shows are like with the chick flick type of stuff are better for streaming where the budgets are less. But the budgets for streaming shows are are getting up there as well. And um, the thing is, you'd think they would learn from the female-led bombs because there's been so many that if you added them up, they probably, I mean, together they lost hundreds of millions of dollars, 
but they're not learning from these bombs because it's not about the money. By now, people should be, no matter how much of a normie and normal stand you want to be with your head in your, the sand, it's like, you know this is not going on in a vacuum. There's this outside, all these outside events that, that are happening where you have to look at these movies and go, oh, you, these are propaganda. You're, you're losing hundreds of millions of dollars to make this weird propaganda, which should have you scratching your head that they go, okay, something else is going on here. It feels like there's some international politics going on and uh in another article some hollywood guy was interviewed and uh, he was asked about why why i don't know if it's disney in specific or hollywood in general wasn't doing so well as it was like just five years ago and he goes well because the attention spans are so short with those kids with their pac-man and their walkman and their and their you go wait a minute that was five years ago the kids were on the same cell phones and tablets uh, it, not not much has changed. Was it 2019 when the uh, Avengers had their big uh, their big thing, which is stupid because you know it's like nothing. It's, things haven't changed. The market saturated uh, was before five years ago. But if you're in Hollywood, you just can't come out and say, well, yeah, these woke movies. Like if you're on the left, you can't even say woke. You, but which is what everyone knows. These movies are not doing well. Disney's woke. The genres woke. Every mainstream thing in Hollywood is woke. So you've got to come up with a reason to blame everyone else um, because people don't want girl bosses. People are kind of more on board with, with tits and ass. Uh, like sexy, attractive women in kind of sillier costumes. If, if it was me, if I worked for one of these companies, that's the direction I would go in. I would I would play up the sex appeal. Um, you know, to troll the left a little bit. Like there's, a, there's an article with... Um, the She-Hulk lady, and they're talking about how they predicted that they were going to troll the audience with their shows, and and you read that kind of article, and you go, these people are insane. You know, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars to make a, a one-season streaming show, and, and you lost money. You go, yeah, yeah, but we trolled the chads. We trolled all those far-right extremists who are watching a comic book show that lost money, and I, I don't think you got a second season for that, though there's some talk that they're going to get a second season which is insane because nobody watched the show. So, I mean, like, the far right, they were making fun. There was, like, an Elon Musk type of influencer. I think that was the last seven or eight episodes um, where they're, I guess, vaguely making fun of, like, dude bros or something. It, none of it made sense. It was just painfully lame. They had a behind-the-scenes thing where they, they go to the writers, the actual writers, and they look exactly like you expect them to look, just fat and smelly and... They've got cats and just disgusting people. I don't know where it's going with that. I hate these people so much. Um, and then they're losing money. So it's 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 like, yeah, you chase the audience away. Congratulations. And then the, the, the third step is supposed to be profit, but they're not profiting. They're just owning the chads, and they're spending totally in the industry billions of dollars to do that. None of this makes sense until you, you know it's not about not about making movies. Anyway. Um, we don't want girl bosses uh, or diversity or, uh, sorry, no offense, but the BLT characters, yeah, that's not a big sale. Most people are are, uh, are straight. That's that's what they want to see, just like hot, blonde hair, blue-eyed chicks in bikinis. I, I, I would go in that direction for superheroes, but obviously they're not. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all next episode.